We know that the chances of an upgrade to Windows 11 25H2 breaking something are really quite minimal, right? Well, that's true for the end user stuff for sure. But with the removal, not just the deprecation, of WMIC from 25H2, SCCM admins are at risk of having their most important scripts just fail on them. If you're an SCCM admin, or you know one, you need to keep watching this. Back in 2001, 2001? That's not right. Back in 2021, four years ago, not 24 years ago, uh, the deprecation of WMIC was announced, and that was in Windows 10 21H1. Also the equivalent Windows Server Edition as well. They deprecated WMIC. Just the command, though. So deprecation, not depreciation, which is an entirely different thing, is where Microsoft stopped developing, recommending, updating a particular tool, product, or function. In this case, the deprecated thing is WMIC. Just the utility, though, not all of WMI, because that would be a terrifying thing to lose. The issue with the release of 25H2 is that it's not just continuing to be deprecated, it's being fully removed. It's not there anymore. So calling WMIC in your script will just fail. So which scripts would use WMIC, I hear you ponder. I don't actually hear you, that'd be weird. But it is a fair question. So let me show you some that I found in my customer environments that I looked at last week. These are going to be really common in environments that have been around since, well, since organizations use SCCM. Here we are. So get product name. So WMIC product get name version. Yeah, we have uh, WMIC computer system get model for getting a computer model. Disabling admin accounts, that's common in task sequences. WMIC user account where name equals admin set disabled equals true. Uh, get serial. WMIC BIOS get serial number, very common for some, uh, well, for even renaming the device the serial number, you know, that kind of thing. The point is, these are going to be quite common. And how can you find out if you're using them? Well, if you're lucky enough to have a repository of scripts, then you can just run something like this discovery script against the repository of scripts that we care about and find the ones that are affected by this issue. And when we find them, we can just convert them to the new version of the command, the supported version. So, for example, the new version of uh, get computer model would be get sim instance w, uh, win32 underscore computer system select object model and get it from the array within that rather than using WMIC. And the same with BIOS get serial number, it would be to use w, uh, win32 BIOS and then pipe that into select object serial number. So yes, if you're an SCCM admin or you know one, make sure you get them to look at this before you upgrade to 25H2. See you next time.